Okay, we're just getting pulled over by the police. We've got two police cars. Uh, please. Uh... Oh, you want me? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. It was supposed to take 20 months to drive our UK camper van around the world. But yet here we are, 36 months later in Japan. And let's be honest, we still have one seriously long drive to get back to the UK. But after catching a ferry to Japan's northern wilderness island of Hokkaido, we've arrived at what we consider to be a very momentous point in our adventure. Wow. <laughs> you may be wondering, what is so special about this lighthouse, especially on a foggy day like today? I mean, it hardly gives you the wow factor. Well, this lighthouse marks Hokkaido's most easterly point. But it's not just the most easterly point of Hokkaido. This is in fact the most easterly point of Japan. This is the furthest point we are gonna be from home. For the past year, Every step, every drive, every adventure has taken us further and further from home, further from our family and friends. But this spot marks a turning point. We're halfway, and that means from now on, every mile driven takes us slightly closer to home. Don't get me wrong, I know it's still going to take about 15 months to get home, but there's something psychologically different knowing that each day we're getting closer rather than further from home. Let the long drive home begin. It always seems impossible until it's done. Nelson Mandela. If you're eating seaweed at home and it's coming from Japan, if it says Japan on the packet, there's a good chance it's coming from here. We have found an area here where they're laying out all the seaweed on the gravel to dry. I love it, it's a family business. There's a lady with a baby on her back. There's a little girl that's helping. I just love that. It's a family affair. So being in the most easterly point of Japan. Which ironically on the map does not look like it's. <laughs> <laughs> I love maps. <laughs> Yeah, the map slightly, it's because the world's bent. That's this is actually the most easterly point, even though on this map it doesn't look like it. So uh, we need to update the map because we haven't updated the map that we're in Japan, which always confuses everybody that looks at the van. Yes, if you meet Trudy, which hopefully one day you do, the red line was our initial plan to drive around the world and obviously with all the other stuff. So we're doing it in green uh, to show the route that we're actually doing. As Marianne got the tape ready, a group arrived, and before you knew it, she was trying to explain how a brightly coloured English camper van ended up at Japan's most easterly point. <laughs> you got an audience, love. No, okay. pr no pressure. I'm just trying to... <laughs> <laughs> there you go. It's done. We've linked the link. <laughs> so these guys have given us a sticker for Trudy. Yay, thank you. Arigato! Oh, yeah. <laughs> ah, arigato! <laughs> oh, right. You ready to drive to England? <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> Past all the guys with the seaweed. Yeah, you, you got space. Look at it all in the back there. Arigato! Bye. Bye. Wow, look at all that seaweed there. All lined out, amazing. That's fabulous. So this most easterly point of uh, Japan is very, very bleak, very foggy. I can imagine how cold and bleak Isolate. a lifestyle it is. Isolated. Isolated. Mm, in the winter. It actually reminds us of uh, the time we went to Tuk so that took in the uh, in the far north of Canada. You will tell you can tell that the people here would be like true warrior people, like mentally, physically, emotionally, very strong. And they've got a good seaweed business going by the looks of it. 
One thing they do have up here is a lot of solar and wind turbines. So they are definitely making use of the land around them. Yeah. And more seaweed. Everywhere you look, there is seaweed being laid out to dry. But then seaweed is a massive thing in their, in their diet, in their food here. Just be aware, a lot of cars in Japan, in the fog, for some reason they don't put their lights on. Driving through the dense fog, we had our eyes peeled as we'd heard that apparently more cars hit deer here than any other part of Japan. And looking at the fog and the deer warning signs, I think I can understand why. Yeah, I'm like G.I. Joe, I've got peeled eyes. Our friend Ruth had told us that we had to try a local crab before we left the area, so we headed to the town of Nemuro. We were just a few blocks from our destination when this happened. Okay, we're just getting pulled over by the police. Do you want me to stop here? I don't know. Yeah, we'll get out. We've got two police cars. Get out. Oh, how exciting. Don't go out. Don't get out. Hi. Thank you. Um, uh, konnichiwa. 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 Ah, can you give me a Google. One minute. One minute. Oh, paper. Uh, paper. Papers. Hi. Yeah. We handed him our papers, which he took back to his car. I don't understand what's happening. I have no idea what's happening. I think they're confused because we, uh, the British number plate. <laughs> English. Uh, English. Oh, no. Hold on. Uh, uh, Google. Uh, oh, no problem. <laughs> Did you travel? Whilst the one officer was in the car checking our paperwork, the other one continued to talk to us. We did our best to explain that we were driving around the world. Around Japan? No, the whole world. Um, you see that on the side of the van, the map, map. Oh, oh, oh YouTube. Hi. Yeah. Hi. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And we'd actually been living in this van for five years. Five years? <laughs> oh, here you go. There you go. About five minutes later, the second officer returned with our paperwork, and his colleague explained what we'd said. England. England. This, this England. Van? England. England. Yeah. Um, English? We have permission. Oh, English. English. Oh, English. Yeah. Do you want to get our passports just to show? Passport. Passport. Ah, uh, passport. Uh, okay. Okay. Sorry. Sorry. No, no. I don't think they'd ever seen a foreign number plate before. International, international, international driving permit. Oh, 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 you too. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You keep that. You keep that. Okay. Thank you. Okay. I'm watching. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, they're so lovely. I think we just created a bit of confusion. Well, we. It's not. It's not something ordinary. I've said it before. We're an ordinary couple, but we're doing something quite extraordinary, and I think we've blown their minds. Do you want to just? Turn down yeah, there and we'll figure out where we are. So this is the place that we've come down to. This is famous for the crabs. And they look amazing. Look at the and colour of those. You can go in there and eat, which is great. Look at those crabs. Very good. Be good. Good. Nice. Small one. Come on. Um, this is Small one for me, small one. Police box. Uh, uh, please. Uh... Oh, you want me? Oh, to yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. The police had followed us to the crab shop and now wanted us to go to the nearby police station with them. 
So that was actually ended up being really good. So we had to call the shipping agent because we, we didn't show them the right papers, but it's all good. It's just part of the adventure. Even though the and shipping agent, <laughs> Kazooie-san, who is fabulous, Thanks, had Kazooie. already sent me all the paperwork, but I just couldn't find out the We piece. printed it, yeah. but it was in the folder. Oh, thank you, Kazooie. So yeah, so it's all good. They've released us. We were in there for like half an hour trying to explain why we've got a British number plate. So but great. then the, uh, the police officer actually gave us his card. He wrote out a note and said if you ever get stopped by the police in Japan again please give them this note yeah. and, and it explains paper. it explains everything so uh, yeah all good right should we go and get some crab now I think we should finally we're back at the crab shop I wondered what the owner thought seeing the police come and whisk us off to the police station we're back we're back at the crab place and take there's two no, there's nothing like a police drama to make you even more hungry <laughs> small one small one good morning hi hi arigato <laughs> wow. wow look at that so this is the uh, the famous local crab here and they actually give you instructions on how to eat it which is a good job really and then we've got these big scissors although Marianne doesn't eat crab so it's all for me with scissors in hand I carefully followed the instructions it's good very good what is the name of the crab yes Hanasaki crab. Hanasaki. Oh, Hanasaki crab that is hard work for your dinner you are having to work hard for that dinner it took quite a long time to carefully cut out and find all that delicious crab meat but believe me it was worth it. So after that delicious crab lunch, highly recommended if you come to Hokkaido. Um, that window, Marianne, we got seagulled. We got, sea we got definitely got pooped on. It's really bad. That's carnage. <laughs> That's... <laughs> no drama, but Look that is at carnage. My... Ah, such a nice guy. Domo arigato. The sun is shining and we are in the city of Sapporo. We're staying at a couple of uh, followers' house. Amanda and Yujiro, thank you very much for having us. <laughs> so this is where Trudy parked up last night. Lovely veggie patch opposite. We're parked up in their neighbor's house. They're actually living in this house here. We're in the suburbs. This is our guide for the day. <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you for having us. You're welcome. It's my pleasure. <laughs> we're very excited. We are very excited. It's in our blood. So yeah, so we're going to a dance festival. Yep. And we're going to get the subway into town. Okay, we have a guide this time. Meet Amanda. <laughs> <laughs> because last time we took the train, we got very lost. It's always easier navigating public transport when you're with a local. At least we won't get lost this time. Yay! <laughs> what are you doing for the next two months? <laughs> oh, Road trip. I would love to. There's loads of dancers coming on. As we exited the train, it was obvious from the amount of dancers on the platform that this was going to be one big event. But it's a big event. The, uh, the dance festival happens every year and uh, hasn't happened for a while due to COVID but there's lots of dancers here so I'm excited. I think it's going to be a fun afternoon here in Sapporo. So we just come down to the park and they got these wonderful costumes here with the umbrellas. It's a really good atmosphere. Everyone's hanging out in the park. You can hear music playing. There's costumes everywhere. It's really cool. The Yosakoi Soran Dance Festival is a must-see for visitors to Hokkaido. We just spotted the uh, university students running down the uh, the road in what looked like their underpants. 
<laughs> For I a better it. word. <laughs> I love it! Okay, so we're stopping for a bit of lunch. Cheese sticks. Any pastry that is fried is good. It's a robot horse. It's a robot horse. They've got a robot horse on stage, love. A robot horse. That's amazing. No <laughs> animals were harmed during the making of this video. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Marianne and Amanda are going to join the kids on this slide here in the park. Crazy adult alert! <laughs> are you going? <laughs> no, me neither. <laughs> <laughs> so now we're going into uh, a stadium park that we bought the tickets for a uh, thousand yen each and uh, so we get to see some cool dancing close-ups so yeah it should be should be good and apparently you can sit anywhere <laughs> We come into this little bar restaurant with the traditional table there. We've come for an early dinner. We've got fried things on sticks. What have we got? Uh, ginger, quail eggs. No, no, Lotus roots. Onion. Asparagus. Shrimps. We've got cheese. Look at this cheese. This is the Pork. best cheese ever. Pork. 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 <laughs> Yay! Yay. Yay. Raw cabbage. Raw cabbage. That's, that makes it healthy. Spicy sauce. Join us next time as we start the long drive home, starting with the drive to the south of Japan. <laughs> the windscreen wiper fell off. And experiencing more of this wonderful and unique country. I don't think this was a good move. Oh.